Hello, my fellow Badgers. My name is Aaron Follinsby, and I'm an undergraduate junior at UW-Madison studying pre-medicine, like many of yourselves. To those of you who have already graduated, congratulations, you have a lot of work ahead of you. This is the time pre-medical students at UW-Madison, like us, are contemplating where to continue our education. As I explain in this presentation, alumni and current students at UW-Madison that are pursuing a career in medical research should go to the Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health, located here in Madison. In 1954, the PhD program here was the first college institution in the U.S. to grant oncology PhDs. This long-standing reputation of the cancer research programs at the UW mean this is the best place for you to pursue medical research. According to the best grad school rankings of the U.S. News and World Report, the UW School of Medicine placed 12th in primary care education and 27th in research education. And while these statistics are important, the academic history of the UW School of Medicine is more important for you to harden your determination to enroll here. These statistics overemphasize the amount of funding and the sheer number of programs present on other campuses. While we Badgers know our education and research focuses on quality rather than quantity, and we don't need extraneous funds to achieve these goals. The research programs on campus all share the same endeavor for quality investigation. The quality of the UW's cancer research program is the best example I can provide you. Whether conducting medical research as a recent graduate, earning your MD and PhD separately, or together in an MD-PhD program, it is in your best interest to pursue your research here. The historic excellence of the cancer research programs on the UW campus began with Dr. Harold P. Rush. Dr. Rush was appointed the Director of Cancer Research in 1934 when the cancer program was established. Under Dr. Rush's leadership, the cancer research programs thrived. In 1938, the Michael McArdle Fund allowed Rush to expand the cancer research program into the McArdle Laboratory for Cancer Research. In 1962, the McArdle Lab constructed the McArdle Laboratories building we see on campus today. In the early 70s, Dr. Rush developed the legislation to create a comprehensive cancer center here at UW-Madison. In 1972, Rush's dream came alive. The Wisconsin Comprehensive Cancer Center was constructed at the UW. Dr. Rush served as its director until his retirement in 1978. Later, the center was renamed the University of Wisconsin Paul P. Carbone Cancer Center in honor of its second director, Dr. Paul P. Carbone. In shorthand, the center's acronym is UWCCC. Historically, the McArdle Lab has focused on basic cancer research that would later be applied to treat patients in a clinical setting. The most celebrated McArdle research focused on the activation of chemical carcinogens and mutagens, tumor promotion and regulation, carcinogenesis, and the extremely important original tumor inhibitors like 5-fluoroacyl. This research with 5-fluoroacyl led to the development of many effective breast, ovarian, stomach, and colon cancer treatments. Also, the first clinical research for the chemotherapy drug tamoxifen was conducted at UWCCC. This research led to one of the best methods for treating breast cancer. By joining the UW's cancer research, you will help develop new cures for cancer, like these historic examples. A great number of famous researchers have been trained at the UW School of Medicine. Dr. Rush directed both the McArdle Laboratory from 1938 to 1972 and the Wisconsin Carbone Cancer Center from 1972 to 1978. You can help continue his legacy. Overall, almost 1,300 graduate students and postdoctoral fellows have been trained at the McArdle Lab. You can be one of these students. The McArdle Laboratory for Cancer Research has trained some of the leading cancer researchers of the 20th century. Dr. Boutwell discovered the, the effects of vitamin A on cancer prevention. Dr. Potter helped develop one of the first combinational drug therapy treatments for cancer. Of greatest note, Charles Heidelberger won the Nobel Prize in 1948 for his research on 5-fluoroacyl and its application in cancer treatment. If you want to do successful cancer research, especially world-renowned cancer research, the Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health is the place to do it. You are at an advantage to be accepted to these famous research programs. You have a higher chance of being accepted to the medical college simply because you've put yourself through the rigors of the UW's curricula, a curricula the UW School of Medicine trusts. Also, UW Madison Badgers, who are native Wisconsinites, have an even greater advantage. Of the 171 people accepted to the School of Medicine in 2010, 129 of them were in-state residents. The annual in-state tuition for these native Wisconsinites was $10,000 cheaper than out-of-state tuition. You have so much leverage and so much to gain by applying to the UW School of Medicine. 
The MD-PhD programs at the UW School of Medicine and Public Health are blessings for us UW-Madison students and graduates. As you continue the process of medical college application and matriculation, maintain UW-Madison as your first choice. You have the best chances to be accepted to the UW School of Medicine to make true change in cancer research. You will continue the legacy of all the UW medical researchers before you, like Dr. Rush, Heidelberger, and all the other leading research figures of McArdle. You will continue the tradition of the men and women who spent their entire careers understanding the cancer that can afflict us all. You will continue the tradition of the men and women who treated our fellow Badgers and Wisconsinites. To repeat the cliche, one day you may be able to cure cancer, but here at UW-Madison.